Jeep concepts, and then we've got two Mopar concepts as well. Um, first off, we've been doing this since I think 2002. Uh, came out here with one vehicle, uh, slightly modified. Been doing it ever since. I think we're up to 50 plus concepts since then. Um, so it's really a great opportunity for Jeep, Jeep brand, but also us as designers. Um, you might ask why do we do this? Uh, a couple good reasons. Um, first off, it's just great for the brand. I mean, this is sort of, this is where Jeep belongs. This is the backdrop for Jeep. Uh, it builds excitement. You guys get to come out here, you get to drive the vehicles, you go out, you write about it. It just helps bring the enthusiasm to Jeep. Um, secondly, you know, for our, a lot of our designers and engineers in the studios, some of them new to Jeep, they may have never experienced Jeep before, especially experienced Jeep in an environment like this. So it's a great opportunity for them to sort of research what Jeep is, um, start creating some ideas as to what the Jeeps can be, and then ultimately end up building the concepts that we bring out here. And then lastly, you know, we always bring those designers and those engineers out here during the uh, safari with us, and they actually get to drive these things on the trails. So, you know, normally a uh, concept car will go to an auto show, it'll go on a show stand, it'll never see the road, no one will ever drive it. These things are out on the trail, uh, they're getting fenders damaged, they're getting tires popped, uh, they're being put through the paces. Please don't do any of that to them today. <laughs> but uh, no, they, they've definitely been on the trail and that's the great thing about it. You know, we, we drive these concepts into town, we fill them up at the gas station. Um, I've been at the gas pumps with a couple of them and you have people just, you know, itching to ask you questions about them. They want to know. They've seen these vehicles on magazine covers. They want to know all about them. They're super excited to see it. They see it on trails, like I said, at the gas station, the hardware store in Moab. Um, so they really get to experience it. They get to, to, to truly see them in the environment. So um, I've got a couple of Renegades for you, a pair of pickups, uh, then a JK, and then we'll talk about the Mopar vehicles. First off, uh, the Renegade. This is the uh, Renegade Commander. Um, this one was really uh, our take as to what, you know, if you took the Trailhawk and really went over the top with it, what could it be? Um, this is, as I like to say, how the designer would have sketched it originally with big tires, big wheels, all the graphics on it. You know, this is sort of their original sketch. Uh, we took a, a Renegade Trailhawk, we've lifted it, I think it's about two inch lift, uh, threw a more aggressive tire on it. This is actually the Rubicon wheel from the Wrangler. So we put that wheel on there, um, added a few accessories to it, the roof rack, um, threw on the black matte hood graphic on the top. And if you look on the top, this sort of highlighter green uh, graphic that's on there, that's actually a trail that's here in Boab. Uh, I can't remember exactly which one it is, but we actually did the, the media, original media reveal that location. You'll see a little crosshatch on the top of it. Um, so yeah, this was really just the expression of what could uh, a Trailhawk be. I should also highlight, um, you know, don't, don't look at these and think, ah, what are they thinking about production for any of these? These are really just sort of concepts that come out of the designer's pen. Um, some things do, though, lead to uh, things in production. Colors, for instance. Uh, we've done a lot of exploration with colors when we do these vehicles. Um, uh, we've had a few cars in Anvil, I think, out here. And we first did that color on the new Kaiser 715, I think about six years ago. And the inspiration for that was a garbage can that was in the studio, is this gray color. And we looked at that and thought, man, that'd be a great Jeep color. So for the longest time, that color was called garbage can gray. We actually turned it to Anvil. We couldn't name that in a press release or a uh, brochure. But uh, we do get a lot of inspiration for colors out here, uh, materials, things like that. Um, this particular color, uh, tongue in cheek, we named it fluorescent gray. Uh, so just an interesting uh, play on words. The next one is the, uh, the Comanche. Um, so this was, you know, taking the Renegade you know, how far could we push this thing? Obviously we could do, you know, more of a Trailhawk version of it, but could we do something that's more in line of a, a small pickup? So we actually stretched the wheelbase. I think it's about a six inch stretch, um, added a five foot box on the back, uh, took the top off, put a soft top on it, and then uh, put a more aggressive wheel and tire. It's a 32 inch tire, 17 inch steel wheels. Uh, redid the front face just for improved uh, uh, approach angle, uh, lift over and departure angles through the black hood graphic on the hood, and uh, yeah, you get the Comanche. Uh, this color we nicknamed uh, Beige Against the Machine. Uh, just a great color though. Works really well out here in Moab. Uh, the next pickup then is the Crew Chief. And this was really a nod back to uh, some of the original Kaiser 715s uh, pickups of that day. 
Um, we took a JK, a four-door, um, we stretched it, uh, obviously left uh, the four doors on it, put the iconic hood and front grill on it that sort of leaned forward. You see that on the Wagoneer back there and several, several other Jeep models. Um, I think the greatest thing about this one is the wheel and tires uh, on this. It's got this incredible stance. They're 40 inch tires, 20 inch beadlock wheels. They look like they came off a locomotive. Um, you know, you see a lot of Jeeps that get modified. They lift it, they put these big wheels and tires on it and it's sort of over the top. I, I think this does it in a more tasteful way. It's a little more proud looking, a little more noble looking. Um, it's got the look of a freight train, look, like an old locomotive. Um, it's just a great look. This particular color uh, was inspired by sort of the finish of a grenade. Um, it, just a great green color that we have on there. Uh, tactical green, I think was the name of it. Um, obviously the bed on the back, lots of military inspiration back there. It's actually got an air compressor in the back, so when you air down, you can air your tires back up uh, on the trail and not have to worry about it. So uh, the next one, the next pickup, uh, this is an interesting one for us. We've done a few vehicles like this where it's not so much an exploration in design, but more about what Jeep is and what Jeep character is. Uh, this one, it started out life as a 1960 uh, FC-150. We actually found it, I think, on a farm in Wyoming. It has a snow plow attached to the front of it. Uh, it was kind of in bad shape. It ran, ran somewhat. Uh, we actually took the chassis and the drivetrain out of it. Uh, we updated it. We put a 2005 TJ chassis and engine on the underside, so it's more uh, modern mechanical drivetrain. So it drives much better than the original did. Um, but the great thing about this one is it has so much character. Um, you know, you just look at the thing, you see all the scars on it. You just wonder where it's been, what it's done, what it's you know done over its life. Um, we took a lot of inspiration from this one because at this time, um, Jeep was sort of in this experimental mode where you know sky was sort of the limit and they were trying to do this really tight uh, pickup that was very maneuverable but do it in a small compact uh, package and have a five foot bed. So they actually took the, the driver and put them above the engine and shortened the wheelbase. So I think this is even shorter than a JK here by several inches. Um, this one, I, I'm not gonna tell you too much about the interior because over the course of the day, I want you guys to get inside of it, look around, be sure you look up, you'll be surprised uh, by what you see up there. Um, this really isn't so much of a, a designer's vehicle, it's just, it's for the pure Jeep enthusiasts. So um, this is one of our favorite, spend some time with it. It's a hoot to drive, you'll love it. So, uh, FC 150. Yeah, you'll love it, it's great to drive. Uh, so the next one, this is one of my personal favorites. This is the Shortcut. And this was sort of a, a third in the, um, a series that we've done over the years. We started out with the JK Pork Chop. Some of you may remember that. We did Stitch uh, just a few years ago. And those were all two-door JKs uh, that we just tried to make as tight, short, and nimble as possible and lightweight. So this has been our last iteration. Um, what we've done here is we've taken a, a stock JK, we've actually shortened it, the overall length by 26 inches. The wheelbase is the same as a stock JK. We took 12 inches out of the front, uh, I think about 14 out of the rear, and took a lot of inspiration from the original CJ5. So it's got sort of that classic Wrangler look to it. Uh, we actually, we redid the hood and the grill. We stood it up to make it a little more proud looking. Took the windshield, we actually stood that up just a little bit more too. Um, you'll notice the bucket seats in here uh, with the plaid. We've done plaid for several years. We love it. Haven't done it in production yet, but you never know someday. Um, and then the, the sport bar on the back. So it's got a very classic feel to it, even with the red steel wheels. Uh, it's 35 inch wheels and tires on it. And then just the stubby uh, uh, bumpers front and rear also. So uh, again, this is one of my favorites. Check out the, the rear when you get a chance. There's lots of things to discover in there with the cooler and all kinds of good stuff. So. Um, and that's it. So um, we're going to jump over to Trailcat here, and then I'm going to hand you off in just a minute. But just a few words about the Trailcat. Um, why did we do it? Because we could. It's a Hellcat engine. Uh, it was just waiting to be done. Throw it in a in a Wrangler, and uh, so we've done it. Uh, Scott's going to take you through most of it, but we've we've stretched the vehicle just to get the um, the engine into the chassis. We've lowered it as well, raked the windshield back. Um, Obviously the paint job on it, I mean you can see it out here in the sun, it's just this 
beautiful green metallic paint job with all the black accents. Um, this is sort of our, our, you know, the hot rod that we have out here today. So um, I think you guys get a chance to drive it. So uh, it should be pretty fun. It sounds great starting up. So. <laughs> 